Good day everybody, it's Max, and welcome back to Icarus. In this little tutorial tips episode, we're going to talk about wall building and structure building specifically. And uh, about putting in walls, putting in doors, putting in windows, and using the hold R key to make the changes. Let's get to it. When it comes to building materials and components, uh, of course, one of the things you'll notice is it has a default state or look. So obviously, if we take a wall component, uh, by default, it has a default state, which is a solid wall. Uh, you'll also notice it has a default orientation, but this can get really confusing really fast. You got to first watch out for this arrow. Make sure that especially one sided pieces like walls uh, are facing the right direction. So we want that arrow to be pointing outward. So as the finished wood is on the inside and of course the rough wood is on the outside unless you're looking for the opposite look. So if you want the rough look inside, then you obviously would turn this arrow around. Uh, and of course you would do that by just pressing the R key. Uh, and of course that's going to put your wall in. But now we want to talk about variations. Um, obviously when you're looking for windows, doors, and things of, the, uh, of that nature, um, you don't see that as a crafting option. And that's because it's not a crafting option, it's a variant option you hold the R key down for three seconds and what you will do is you'll see the variations wheel appear where now you can select what type of wall you want. So in this case we want a wall with a window in it uh, so we're gonna I'm gonna uh, just circle my mouse around to come on top of that let go of the R key and now I have the window piece. Now again I do need to watch out for the arrow orientation so that would be the wrong direction I, I just press R to flip that around to the right orientation and now I can put that in. Now to actually put in the extra piece. So in this case we want to put in the window covering um, and uh, so that's going to be eight. Uh, nope, it's <laughs> still this not Right, so by default you'll get this symbol that says must snap to something, right? All you got to do is just make sure you're near the ledge of your window or door and it will highlight that area and get the orientation automatically for you depending on what it is your window or door did. So in this case, you will want to make sure that uh, your orientations are done right with the arrows. Uh, yes, moving around the edges of where it is you're going to place things changes orientation automatically, but I do find that it's a lot easier just to kind of get things generally lined up and then use your standard R key for flipping the pieces around, get your orientation correct. Then, once you've done that, press down your R key to get the options wheel and then change your options to windows, doors, and other building pieces. With that, the only other thing, of course, is deconstruction. And, of course, when you deconstruct something with a build piece, it is Y. And you will actually get a refund of a little bit of the material back. Though it's not a full refund, um, it is a partial refund, which, of course, uh, is kind of nice uh, because you don't get to waste all that material. Uh, you do get at least some of it back. Okay, so you've had a bad windstorm come through and you've got damage all over the place and you need to know how to fix that damage. Well, the first thing is, is that you're going to need a special tech in the tech tree. So under tier one, uh, you're going to want to get the repair hammer, which of course will allow you to get two fiber, uh, four stick and six stone. Uh, of course, once you then make yourself a repair hammer, you can then begin to repair this damage. Now, unfortunately, it's dark. So when I go to switch the hammer, it's going to get dark, but I will show you a little trick to avoid that for a second. Uh, we'll take this. Uh, I'm going to drag the torch out of my hand, but just barely drop it on the floor, and it will just stand there nice and still like that. Look at that. Uh, so now, if you take your hammer and you point at walls, you'll actually see how much damage and how much, uh, how much durability they have. And, of course, you can use your hammer to now actually repair this damage and of course you can go around you can make sure it's all fixed back up again uh, I think I got most of this floor already fixed up and I already got the top floor fixed up as well so when you need to actually repair damage to your structure you will need yourself an early repair hammer and of course once you have that hammer you'll be able to fix the damage of your walls at the same time if you actually have tool repair damage, 
by just bringing up your tab key and right clicking on the tool, you can repair the tool directly and it's no resources required. It of course just requires you to have a little stamina, which of course uh, you can do. And you don't have to wait for the tool to break either. Uh, in fact, I usually like to do them all at once so you only lose the stamina the one time and then all your tools are repaired to go and ready to go again. So uh, if you're gonna repair a tool, you only lose stamina, repair all your tools at once so you only lose that stamina once and then you're good to go. With that, this was a quick tutorial on just how to do a quick repair on your buildings and on your tools. And I will see you on the next one. Take care.